Yo, yo, how's it going guys? So I'm back in the workshop today and I've got this really nice fully black fixed gear wheel set that I'm going to lace up. The rims are DT Swiss R500s, uh, 700C with a 23mm internal width and the hubs I'm using are these Suzu Promax carbon hubs. Pretty excited about these ones. They're the early model cup and cone bearing ones and the spokes I've gone for are black DT Swiss double butted. Pretty damn excited to get these built up so let's get into it. So here are the hubs. They are second hand but still in really nice condition. Stoked that the stickers and logos are still intact. Some of you may notice that this logo is actually slightly different to the newer sealed bearing models which I think have a holographic sticker instead of a printed logo. And the rear hub is a fix fix threading. Super nice. Here are the rims. They are a disc brake model so you can't use a rim brake if you wanted to which I assume is what this DB stands for. The internal width is 23mm and the outer width is 26 and it states that the minimum tyre width is a 25 so I'm pretty keen to see how a 25 tyre will look given that the rims are actually technically wider. I've gone for black DT Swiss competition spokes which are the double butted ones. They go from a 2mm down to a 1.8 and then back to 2. This is my first time using all black spokes and nipples so I am pretty keen to see how the wheels will look and I'm really hoping that these crazy disco prism style decals really stand out. So the lacing pattern I've gone for is just a classic 3 cross um, on both of the wheels and I'm using 14mm brass nipples. So here's a little handy tool that I made for helping thread nipples into the rim and it's especially handy if you have quite a deep dish rim. It's nothing special or costly or anything, I just use an old spoke and I bent it a few times into this shape. You can then use the J bend end to hook around and it creates a nice little handle. I then just thread the nipple on a few turns onto the end and then thread it through the rim. It's as easy as that. You can also just use a normal spoke without bending it but for me this is just a nice little dedicated tool that I can keep just for wheel builds.
So here are the tires that I'm going to test fit. They are Continental GP 5000s. And because I'm curious about the tire width, I've got a 25C and also a 28C to see how they'll both fit. So I've put the 28 on the rear and here's how it looks. It looks like it measures just over 29 millimeters. Now let's compare that to the front one, which has the 25C on it. And it looks like this one measures just over 27 millimeters, which is about one mil wider than the actual rim. I think they both look really nice, but I think I prefer the slightly wider 28C. Now because I need to figure out if they'll fit on the frame, I might as well show you guys a little sneak peek at the next project I'm working on. So here it is, it's a 2013 MASH histogram. I know it will comfortably fit the 25s, but I'm hoping the 28s will fit, so let's see. So it looks like the rear fits the 28s nice and easily, pretty happy with that clearance. And the front has nice clearance on the 25s, so I think the 28 will squeeze in there nicely. So I'm super happy with how these wheels turned out. I think the black looks quite nice on the frame. I'm actually quite tempted to remove the rim decals, but I'm unsure at this stage, so let me know what you guys think. And thanks again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm hoping to get the final bits for this build soon, so keep an eye out for it. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace.